How's everyone doing today? I'm going to cover 10 Excel tips and tricks for formatting your Excel reports. These are items that I've learned over the last 15 years working in a corporate accounting environment. They should help your reports be more consistent, print out larger, and generally just look better when you actually print them to PDF or to the printer. So let's dive into them. Tip number one, work in page break preview. You'll find this under view and then page break preview. This will give you at a glance what your report's gonna look like when you print it out. So you can identify if you're going on to more pages than you realize. That way you can adjust your report before you actually PDF or print it. All right. Give your report a heading so your users know what they're looking at without having to try to guess. Um, you're gonna get some nuances from me in this part because uh, I don't know, this is my approach, so you can take it or leave it. But basically, I like to take the first three rows. I'll usually add a color. Um, if your company has a color template, I highly recommend using that. It's just a nice add-in to use your company's colors in the reporting. If it's for your own personal report, uh, obviously use the colors that you like. But I use the first three rows, grab a color, and then with the font, I usually stick to white or black font. Here, I'm gonna merge the cells. Once I merge those cells, I'm gonna have this nice centered heading that looks really good when I print it out. There's an alternative way to center your heading without merging the cells because merging cells can cause issues later down the road. So an alternative to merging cells is to center across multiple cells. And you can find that under format cells, alignment, text alignment, horizontal, and then center across multiple cells. Now I'm gonna be lazy here. I'm just gonna grab the format painter and I'm gonna apply that to row two and three. Now I've got a nice centered header without merging the cells. This is gonna be one that's more than likely gonna be a, a critical step in, in whether your report looks good or not. And I got a lot of criticism in college. I had a teacher that used to measure our Excel reports when we used to hand them in and would note if they were, uh, if they were off. Uh, I also had a, uh, a prior boss that would also be very uh, critical on formatting and just making sure everything looked uh, the same, which I 100% agree. Uh, the report looks much nicer when you have your columns and data lining up. So in this instance, I'm gonna to try to get A, D, and F. These are going to be kind of like my uh, spacing areas that I wanna get them lined up to so they're the same size. And then I'm gonna to try to take C, E, G, and H, and I'm gonna make them all the same size as well. And this is gonna make my report look much better. Now B, I'm gonna make it as long as it needs to be so I can read that data point or that category essentially. And then I'm gonna clip I and J over here because I don't need those in this report. And once I have those lined up and I clip I and J, this Excel report's gonna look a lot better when I go to print it to either PDF or to the printer. This tip might be more of a personal preference, but I've run into situations where I've tried to put a note just in a cell uh, in a row and Later down the road, when I modify the report, it ends up not looking as good or it moves in places I don't want it to move. So I found putting notes in a text box instead of in a cell makes my life a lot easier if I need to modify this report or just adjust things in the report later down the road. So now that we have that nice header and if we have multiple pages in a report, we're gonna want that header to continue repeating. And this is a way to have that header repeat without actually sticking it in the header. So if you go to page setup, and if you go to sheet, and then rows to repeat at top, select the rows that you want to repeat, hit okay, and that header is going to repeat on every page of your report. This is gonna be one of those final touch pieces of your report where you want it to center when you go to print it. Uh, by default, it's not gonna center, 
and you can you can actually play a formatting to get it to center but to make your life easier there's actually a area in page setup where you can go under margins and then you can just say center it on my page horizontally for portrait vertical for any landscape reports So this is another one that's a personal preference of mine. I like seeing page numbers. And the way I do it is I go to the footer, type in page, usually put it on the center, and then I'm gonna grab the Excel coding or whatever that is. Once I do that, I got a page number at the bottom of my report. All right, my next two tips are gonna be tips to make your reports larger so you can read them I've gotten a lot of criticism in the past. I've got a lot of data on my report, but I can't read it because your font's too small. So here are my two tips on how to maximize your report size. One is playing with the margins. I'm gonna adjust the margins here on my left and right side. So I have a larger report. All right, so you're trying to squeeze just a little bit more size out of your report. And I swear by this, and I don't think I did a very good job demonstrating it here, but if you go to the page setup page, and then you'll see that your fit is one-to-one -one or how many pages you have, you can go to scale, click on that, and just add one, maybe 2%, and I swear your report will gain a little bit more size. I hope you got something out of this. I hope your reports get a little bit better after watching this video. And if you got something out of this, please give me a thumbs up. If you like content like that, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you made it to the bitter end, I appreciate you. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Goodbye.